Happy Sunday, my guys! Welcome to another edition, edition, edition of Chalking with Bridget. Um, this is going to be a live broadcast, so those of you watching the replay, it's going to take a few minutes till we get going because I have to get everything up. But tonight, we're going to continue on with this farm theme that we've been doing. Um, so we have come out with like these stories that you can do for your home and we have like farm is really in right now like all the farm decor uh, and so we have like a whole line of things and so I have been doing some of these to kind of show you guys some of the stuff if you turn um, you can kind of see on my wall in the background you see we did the golden chickens and that one was not live but I also did that farmhouse the other day I did that one live uh, and so tonight we're going to do a sheep. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So I have these backgrounds that I had purchased. Um, and I got them from a, another store. They're, um, they're like, they, they're not chalkboards. They're kind of like a cardboard. All right. Uh, but I got several of them. And so I am making a series with these farm things. So tonight we're going to do the sheep. <laughs> How cute is that? It's going to be a golden sheep. Uh, with black sheep wool and I'm going to keep with the family owned and operated theme because I really like that for your home like family owned and operated so that's what we're doing tonight so bear with me make sure when you pop on that you say hello so I know that you're here uh, and go ahead if you haven't already give it a share because that really helps with the reach of more people can see this stuff and I plus I appreciate it because y'all are so awesome supporting me and all of my my adventures so let me um so give me just a sec um, and tonight we're gonna um, refresh and things. So I'm gonna do, tonight's gonna be pretty quick. We're gonna do the sheep just in gold because I really like the gold. The golden chickens are cool, right? You know what it reminds me of? Remember Willy Wonka um, with the gold, Veruca with the golden egg and she goes down the thing. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. So we're gonna have a gold sheep and we're gonna do the lettering just in white because the white really pops. All right, so I'm trying to keep the theme very similar for all of these. Um, so, just a sec, we're gonna wait for this to pop up. There we go. All right, so I just need to share a couple places and we're gonna get started. So, make sure you say hello so I know that you're here. Um, and if you're watching the replay, you can still make comments. I will definitely still see the comments and I can respond to them. So, we're going to share. I wish you could do this like before. Um, and we're all kind of messed up on the time, huh? <laughs> Let's see, share it to a group. We're gonna put it in my group and on my timeline. I see some people joining, welcome. We're gonna do a sheep tonight. I'm kind of excited about my sheep. All right, we got a few more people joining. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you say hello. We are gonna share this one as well. Um, Almost done, almost done, we're gonna get started. I hate having to do this when I'm live, I don't know, and those of you watching the replay, I apologize. Okay. All right, let's get started, y'all. We're gonna chalk some sheep tonight. I'm excited. We're gonna do a gold sheep, those of you tuning in late. All right, this is big. You see how big this sucker is? This is actually one of our sea size transfers. So you can see the size of these. They're definitely not small. All right, so um, this is a brand new one and I am opening it fresh out of the package. And you can see, um, this is part of our Chalk Stories collection, which I was telling you guys about. Um, so there, if you look in our catalog or if you go on my website, you will see a, an entire line of really cool um, different farm animals that you can get and all kinds of like add-ons. Like I'm gonna do this another night, but see the mercantile and then you've got like the little scale. Like I love, love, love this decor. I think it's really cute. I've got a milk jug over there I'm gonna do. Um, just like country, country theme. Like country farm is hot right now. Um, I really like it. We live in the country, but my, my house is all beach decor. <laughs> I'm a beach girl. Those of you that know me know that I am a beachy girl. So first thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna start with our sheep. And this is monster size. So we need to fuzz this really good. And I have an old cookie sheet here. So there is life after the holidays when you ruin your cookie sheets. Um, and we're gonna fuzz this. So I'm just gonna take it off the backing. Here's, let me tell you guys a tip for this. When you guys are washing this, 
do it in the bathtub, <laughs> right? Because this is one big piece, all right? And it's hard to get in the sink. So definitely do it in your bathtub. Have that ready to go or your shower. So I have to get the backing off of here. And my paste should be ready to go. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Make sure y'all say hello so I can see who's here tonight. Again, this is all of my chalk couture stuff. So we're gonna make a super cool design. This stuff is so easy. Shelly, cook, call me, call me, call me. Shelly, hey girl, I can give you a call when I am done with this. How about that? Can definitely do that. Um, if you're going to be available tonight. I don't know how long we're going to be live, but it's um, when I'm done, I can definitely give you a call. I'd love to speak to you. Anybody else that has questions, um, you can definitely reach out to me. I'm super easy to talk to. You can send me a message on Facebook Messenger. Shoot me your phone number. I'll give you a call if you want information on the products or the business opportunity because this is a fantastic business. Um, even if you don't want to like make a full business out of it, just for the discounts, so I'll definitely give you a call, Shelly. Um, but just for the discounts on this stuff, because you can save 40% on your own purchases. So this is kind of hard to chalk on the back of a cookie tray, <laughs> chalk to fuzz. So what I'm doing, those of you that are kind of new, I'm going to walk you through exactly what I'm doing. I am fuzzing this transfer. And what does that mean? So our transfers are super, super sticky, right? Because we have high quality stuff. Um, but you don't want it too sticky because if it's super sticky, what's going to happen is when you go to pull that transfer back up after you put it down, it's going to um, stretch. And we definitely don't want it to stretch. All right, so I've got it pretty good and flat. So this is all I'm doing. This is just an old, old towel. Everybody has old towels, kitchen towels. Or you can just get some at the Dollar Tree. We actually sell fuzzing um these these now we don't have any in stock right now that's why i don't have the chalk tour ones but we should be getting some hey megan thanks for joining shelly's on here we've got more people popping on we're doing a sheep tonight y'all part of our farm series super excited about it and it's gonna be pretty quick it's our golden sheep he's gonna be cold all right so i am pulling this back off all right, and this is big. These are these large ones are kind of hard to handle. So you need to be very careful because if they start sticking together, you can get them back apart. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw at Christmas time, I did a really large one. Um, it was the candy shop one that I have up in the corner. Oh my gosh. And that was the first time I had done a large transfer like that. And I had it. It was a hot mess. I mean, I was up in... I tried to do it in the bathroom sink, which was a big mistake. <laughs> like, it was so hard to get unstuck from the back. But I did. I managed to salvage it. I'll show it to you guys. Well, you can see it. It's up in the corner. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line this up so I have my shape. And if you look, you can see. Can you see me through here? Ah, that's the silk screen, right? So, you've got these little, like, um, holes in there. So, that's where your ink's going to go through or in this case, paste, we're using paste, we're not using ink, but we do carry an ink. So I want to pull this down and kind of, let me see, I wanna make sure that the sheep's feet are kind of on the, this has the beveled edges, so I wanna make sure that my sheep's feet are down as far as I can get them and still be an on I think that's pretty good. That's about as... Actually, I can probably go down a little further. Bear with me, y'all. This is where you have to line it up. And with this, we're going to go super quick because this is really big and you don't want your stuff to dry. If it starts drying, that's when you start getting um, the cracking in your paste. So we are just going to make sure this is nice and flat. And straight and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about in just a second and why I'm doing this okay I 
I'm making sure that we don't have any air bubbles. Okay, so the reason why, do you see the details? If you look super close, you can see the details of the sheet, right? The, you see how it's got the teal and then in between? So if there's any air bubbles, your paste is gonna end up going right through there and you definitely don't want that, right? So this is hanging off just a little, but that's all right. Cause we want him to be down at the bottom as close as we can get him. All right, so that's it. We've got it ready to go. I think it's, see how it, I've got his feet down at the bottom and it's got these beveled edges at the top right here. So probably could have sent him over a little bit more, but I think that'll be okay. All right, so let's get our paste ready to go. It should be good. We shouldn't have any trouble with our chalk paste tonight. Um, and this is our shimmer gold, which is new. We also have a shimmer silver. I don't have that yet, but I will be getting it. I have to order it. And it smells really good. Like, it. it I don't know why, it kind of smells like some kind of fragrance, like floral. <laughs> All right, so this one is really big. So I am going to go quickly so all i'm gonna do if you guys can see can y'all see what i'm doing all right so i'm gonna take my little spatula and i'm gonna mix up my paste you want to make sure that it's a good consistency it should be like like yogurt like sour cream can you see that and this is pretty new so it's if it's not if your paste gets clumpy just add a spritzer of water so i am literally gonna slap some gold down and I'm not worried about using too much because we're gonna put any excess back into the container um, because you don't really need a whole lot. All right, so we're gonna take our squeegee and we're just going to start squeegeeing. All right, so. This is gonna be so pretty. Like I said, you want to be fast about it because this one is really big and it will dry quickly. This paste will dry completely in like five minutes. Um, and especially when you're spreading it super thin like this. So we're going over quick. It shouldn't take but a minute to do. And then what's really important is making sure that you check that you got every, every area before you pull that transfer up. I think it's pretty good. Now see all this excess right here? We're going to scrape this back in. I'm gonna reuse that on another project. Okay. All right, so that's it. So we're going to go ahead and pull our, pull this up. Oh, you know what? I still have some more over here that I missed down in the corner because I wasn't paying attention. This is like a beveled edge. So I'm making sure, just double, make sure y'all double check it before you pull it up. I mean, you can always go back, um, but it's easier to get it the first time around. All right. Now, let's pull it up and see. Shelly said, call me. I will, and I promise when we're done. Because I'm using my phone for this broadcast right now. So. so you can see this is kind of pulling. I probably should have um, fuzzed it a little bit more, but it should be okay. You guys see me pulling this up? This is like super sticky on this board. So this is probably gonna curl. Um, and that's okay if it curls, we can flatten it back out with a book when it dries. And I just stuck my hand in it, so bear with me while I pull the rest of this up. These big transfers are kind of hard to work with. Wait till you see the detail. This is really cool. 
All right, so I gotta put this over here. So give me just a minute. Cause I'm gonna wash this in my bathtub. Okay, so here's our sheep so far. Look at how pretty that turned out. You see how easy that was? I mean, you literally just go over it with the gold and you just rip it right on up. And look at the level of detail. That came out like pretty much perfect. So I'm absolutely loving, loving the gold. Now my sheep is kind of off center, which is, has nothing to do with anything except for me, but that means it's a Bridget original <laughs> because I'm horrible at lining this stuff up. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to do my lettering at the top. I'm going to do my family owned and operated, and I'm going to do that in white. Which I'm going to put up as high as I can. Now this is the same stencil that I used on the other ones. And then I have, so that one's already been used. So now I'm gonna use the black sheep wool. And this one has to be fuzzed because it's brand new. And the nice thing about this is, is even though we have um, a gold sheep, we don't have to Put the black on there we can just do the sheep wool and not the black which I might just do that because we have a gold sheep here <laughs> I don't know well we can do the black I think it'll be okay we'll do it with the white lettering okay so this is gonna be my lettering Right, I just have those on there. And again, I'm going to go super quick with the white because um, it really is, it's fast. Once you get everything lined up, it just goes boom, boom, boom. I mean, there's not a whole lot. Now, this is my gold. I have a water bath over here that I'm putting my extra stuff into. And let's get the white ready to go. This should be, I used it the other day. Yeah, it's pretty good. We're going to stir the white again. It's a little bit thick, so I keep, this is actually water. It's an old makeup spritzer bottle, but it's the perfect size. And my white is just a little bit thick, um, and that happens with some of the colors. Not a big deal. You just take your water and you do a couple little sprays. Don't put too much in there, because then it'll get runny. But if you do put too much, you just let it dry back out. Be fine. Because everything is, this is non-toxic, it's water soluble. Right. Spray. Okay. So I am going to just dab my white on here and spread it out. Super easy. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Should be able to. Super easy to do. All right, so I use my spatula. Now I'm gonna take my squeegee, all right? And we're just gonna go over it, making sure that I get down into the letters. And you wanna spread it kind of thin. I mean, you don't need it thick. It's just, you just need enough paste to go in through there. And this is why it's really important that you clean your transfers really well when you're done. Hey Debbie, thanks for joining. So I've got a lot of excess white on here. You just need a really thin layer. I'm taking my extra and I'm putting it back in. Super easy.
All right, so that's it. I just gotta pull these up. And you can see how you can see the lettering through it. Can you see it with the light? That's all I did, just a super thin layer. And I'm gonna pull these up quickly. Now, if you pull it up and you see that there is an error, you can put it back down and fix it, which is really nice. All right, so I'm putting this in the water. And let me get my black sheep. Who's the black sheep of their family? <laughs> All right, so this one's pretty sticky. Probably should have fuzzed it a little more. It all depends on the background that you're using, too. This, These backgrounds that I got are very... Um, they're not very porous, so they... Stuff just tends to stick. Okay, let me put that in the water and I'll show you guys what we got so far. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to make sure it's in there straight so they don't stick. Perfect. There we go. Look how easy that was and how perfect those letters came out. I mean, that's just ridiculously easy. And then if you, there's a little blip right here where I went, I'll show you guys. Can you see? Um, there's a glare. Can you see right there? A little, I got a little bit of the chalk paste. It's not a big deal. Take a baby wipe or some water and it comes literally right off. All right. So this is going to dry and then it's going to go with the rest of our collection. Super, super easy. It takes about five minutes to dry. Now, if you want to put more stuff on here, you certainly can. Hey, Christy, I'm still doing farm animals. <laughs> Um, but this is our golden sheep, which I absolutely love, right? And so I'm just making the collection, but that's it. I mean, that took, what, five minutes to make? And the transfers are totally reusable, which is awesome. So um, now all I got to do is clean up my mess. So I'm just going to clean my squeegees off. I'm going to keep salvage as much of the paste extra as I can. And it, sometimes it dries on the outside of that, no big deal. You literally just scrape it back in, put some water on it. And like I said, it's water soluble. So it'll go right back into a paste consistency, All right? So that's it. Now I'm gonna go wash my transfers. Um, you wanna do that pretty quickly. I'm gonna let them air dry. And then I'm gonna put them back on the back of their backings and put them back in the um, plastic and store them for the next time I want to use them. So super easy to do. Lots and lots of great ideas. Um, we have lots of different, we sell, like I said, the chalk paste. We have the squeegees. We have all of the stencils, which are reusable. And we also have the backgrounds that you can use. Um, if you're not a member of my customer group, type group below and I will make sure that you get added uh, because I have sales and things going on in there that you're not going to see on my business page. The only way you can get that is in your, uh, if you're actually in my customer group. And then if you want to learn how to save 40%, uh, and become a designer like me, you can absolutely do that. Shoot me a message. I'd be happy to give you guys more information about it, uh, about joining our awesome team. We have all kinds of training seminars. Um, it's a fantastic business to be in. So that is all I have for you guys tonight. Thanks so much for joining in. Make sure you give it a like, give it a love, share this on your timeline, and I will see you guys for our next episode. Have a great night. Bye.